Alrighty, so we have another underrated series, and as you can tell, we are doing the Aero Suspended Coasters. So the Aero Suspended Coasters are and can be high-speed coasters that are extremely underrated in my opinion, and a big loss to the coaster community as more and more close around the world. This is shocking. It's almost like uh, the extinction of the Aero Suspended Coaster. Um, it's, it's really unfortunate. I'm, I'm blessed to have my home park be Canada's Wonderland that has, in my opinion, one of the best ones remaining. Keyword remaining. Don't get too triggered. Um, but some of the best models like Big Bad Wolf and Eagle's Fortress were also underrated designs until YouTube channels like TPR shed some light on them with some amazing point of view videos that shocked the coaster community with how intense the pacing was on these. And I'm here to tell you, Vortex has amazing pacing as well. Some of the videos really don't do it justice. I'll get into Vortex in just a bit, but... Um, this was followed by an era of these models slowly disappearing and becoming less known and heard of. Very unfortunate. Whenever we talk about best coasters in the world or what makes an amazing coaster, aero suspended coasters and coasters like Vortex, um, Big Bad Wolf and Eagle's Fortress were never mentioned. In fact, it's almost sad that Eagle's Fortress is more mentioned now than it was during its actual lifetime of existing. It's almost like they're just starting to come out of the light of being these amazing coasters that are underrated. In fact, when we talk to a lot of people about uh, the Aero Suspended Coaster and coasters like Vortex again, they're definitely talked about as being extremely underrated. And as being a huge fan of Vortex at Canada's Wonderland, I'm not going to hide that. I'm a big fan. Um, I can definitely say that these are underrated. I've been to a lot of... Um, the Cedar Fair Parks already and parks in North America. And I've been on a lot of the high thrill coasters that are built at Cedar Fair. Um, and I can definitely say for me, at least, I know this is all perspective and opinion. Uh, I do think these are a contender for being an amazing coaster. Um, so uh, I unfortunately was uh, never able to get on those two models mentioned above. So Eagles Fortress and Big Bad Wolf. Um, and I truly wish I was because, again, the pacing looks absolutely amazing and I love this model more than anything. Um, but from my personal experience with Vortex at Canada's Wonderland, this is one of the more overlooked coaster models in the world and truly provides a unique rider experience. Again, unique. We need that nowadays that needs to have a comeback. Imagine some of the possibilities nowadays with a newer suspended coaster design. Now, Vortex provides the best night ride experience in my opinion at Canada's Wonderland um, and as of late I was at an ace event where we got to ride this ride at night and it was a little colder a little more chilly and uh, I believe they had those new fall wheels installed I'm not too sure but um, the coaster was completely hauling and throwing us around in a kerfuffle um, so from climbing a mountain to dodging trees and islands and coaster supports to dipping down for a near miss water feature on the coaster. This is one of my favorite coasters at Canada's Wonderland. Again, I'm a little biased. This is one of my favorite coasters. I know. Um, in fact, when I had those night rides at the ACE event, um, I was telling people that this might be, um, at night, um, in cold weather, when it's hauling and completely thrashing you around, it might be my favorite ride in the park. I know I just triggered a lot of you Canada's Wonderland fans, but I definitely love this ride. Um, so if you haven't been on any of these models yet, I truly suggest getting on one as soon as possible before we lose any more. I can tell you that it doesn't sound like Wonderland's getting rid of Vortex anytime soon. And by anytime soon, I don't think a decade or two decades from now, this coaster is going anywhere. Um, it is a fan favorite at the park. Again, Canada's Wonderland's pretty uh, general public in terms of like their coaster models and opinions and all that. But this is definitely an amazing coaster. And lately, it is definitely bumping up on a lot of people's lists of best rides in the park. Now I want to hear from you guys. Do you think the aero suspended coaster models are underrated? Comment below which ones you have been on and if you think they're underrated. Also provide any suggestions on any other underrated coaster models or parks around the world, and I will try and cover as many as possible. As usual, hopefully you guys really enjoyed this video. Um, hopefully you agree with my opinions on the Aero Suspended Coaster Model and Vortex being underrated. Uh, comment down below, subscribe if you haven't, give the video a like, and stay tuned for a lot more underrated series on Fridays. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great one. Bye.